Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back again to Canon Fodder TV, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Oh, well, that was an interesting game, wasn't it? Yeah, PSV played at home yeah, against Arsenal, and it's uh, as you were. So um, Arsenal remain and finish top in their group, and PSV Eindhoven finish uh, the second position. So we're here doing an instant post-game reaction, and I want each and every one of you to come into a live chat and let me know your thoughts about the game. What game? PSV. Yeah, and Arsenal, the last game in the group stage. We're going to get into this one on the other side of this music intro. Yeah, so um, welcome back again to an uh, instant post-game reaction on this, uh, what is it today? It's Tuesday night, isn't it? Depending on which uh, part of the world you are. And um, I just watched an interesting game, actually. It was like, felt like a bit like a, a chess a chess match. But um, yeah, anyway, welcome back to the channel. And um, I think, where do we usually start? Well, we usually start on the, um, the start in the 11. So this was a start in the 11. Was there a couple of surprises there for me? Uh, not really. So uh, as I thought, Ramsdale would be back. Actually, Cedric was a bit of a surprise there. Um, surprised to see Saliba and Gabriel played, to be honest. Uh, Kivor played. I'll get to him in a moment. Uh, Georgina was uh, the captain. Uh, it was good to see Oneni uh, come back. Uh, try, uh, Havertz, Trossard, Eddie and Ketia, and Reese. Nelson. I will get to Reese Nelson in a moment. So, the result at the end, it was a 1-1. One, one. And I've got to say that that Eddie and Ketia goal was a really good goal. And do you know what? It's like there are some strikers if you give them too much time on the ball they might just fluff their lines too much time to think about it, and they just, oh, the opportunity is gone. But with Eddie and Ketia, you know, and I've got to say, big up to Reese Nelson on the right hand side. I think it was him who provided the assist. The ball came to him, looked quickly, kind of paused for a second, for a second, and then, you know, had a shot with his left foot. Instant, almost instant, not given too much time to think about it. <laughs> bam, 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 whap. Bam, 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 whap. Bottom left-hand corner. Yes, a really good instinctive striker's goal. Now, the question might be, with an uh, 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 emergence of Kai Havertz, and Gabriel just is kind of going, going off the ball. We've, I think we've been here before, haven't we? I think we've been here before. What are we going to do with Eddie and Ketia? This, by the way, was his first... Champions League goal. A really good instinctive striker's goal. Fantastic. However, however, I've it, so this is how I saw it pan out. The first half, I and mean, PSV are such a good team. I mean, the interplays, the triangles, you know, the formation, very, very well drilled team there. But it's like they didn't take their opportunities. Sounds a bit familiar. There's so many opportunities to actually to put P um, Arsenal out of sight, but they didn't. But I like the way PSV play. And I can see them going quite far in this season's uh, Champions League. They can go really, really far. But anyway, so in, in Inketa scores uh, on the 42nd minute. And then uh, Viterson. A really good uh, 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 um, goal, uh, just wide of um, Ramsdale's uh, post. Well, it wasn't wide, just wide of Ramsdale uh, off the post. But again, they they had opportunities as well. They had opportunities as well to, to put the game out of sight. I mean, the, the, talk about the goal threat on the, the counter-attack. It was really, really good. A really good game. And, um, yeah, I, I thought Reese Nelson had a really good game. Very, very lively. You know, he was on the left-hand side, right-hand side. 
and this is this has been one thing, one asset I would say that's kind of criticism of Mikel Arteta with the players. You know what's going to happen. We're going to have Bukayo Saka on the right hand side, Martinelli on the left hand side, Erdogan somewhere in the middle, and you know a Kai Havertz kind of floating in between the positions there. Why can't we see uh, Bukayo Saka coming on the left hand side? And Martinelli swapping on the right hand side. I mean, Reese Nelson talk about you know a, a passport to Rome. He was all over the place. Very very lively. Really good game today. So I haven't done um, the the play of the match so far. I mean, we didn't win the game, but honors even for me was was a good a good enough result. It was good enough. Um, what else was there? Uh, oh yeah, so El Nenny. Uh, came back, was kind of sprightly in the first half. Unfortunately, we're, we're not sure he got taken off. It could have been a calf. <coughs> Strain, I mean, crikey, he hasn't played in how many, you know, how many uh, months, you know, he's, come, he's coming in, uh, being asked to do a job. And uh, yeah, I think it might be a calf muscle strain, but I'm not sure because I don't have any information at all. So <laughs> what happened at the end? It was 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one. A, good, a good match, a good run out. A good run out. Um, there, there were some questions about whether we're going to see any of the youngsters. Well, we didn't see any of the youngsters, did we? Didn't see any of the youngsters at all. And how are you feeling about that? Now, I was surprised to see Cedric Suarez um, get some game time. And actually, I'm surprised that he's still at Arsenal, to be honest. I'm not sure, you know, first of all, why when he came to Arsenal, we gave him like a four-year deal. But, although I like him. You know, any player that can play left-footed comfortably or competently, right-footed competent, competently, you know, they, they've got to, you know, you've got to like them. And so that's why this can play left-back or right-back. But I'm not sure what we're going to be doing with a, with um, a Cedric Suarez. Kivo, I thought he was kind of unlucky for the goal because I actually thought, even though, Gabriel had, um, you know, gone offside. The ball um, went to Kivo, and he headed the ball in. So I thought, actually, I thought they got that decision wrong. I, for me, I thought it was a, it was a, it was a goal. <clears throat> now, Jorginho had a relatively good game. There was no, um, uh, I can say, no um, a, a major incidents uh, in the midfield there. Uh, and then he, like I said, went off, I think, with a calf strain. Uh, Havertz had a, a good game. I get the impression that Havertz is best suited to play in the Champions League. As we used to say, continental football might be might be just for him. Trossard, mm, a little bit quiet, a little bit quiet for me. And Ketia, again, he wouldn't be my man of the match just because he scored a goal. It was a really good goal, but he wouldn't be my man of the match. My man of the match will probably be um, Nelson. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say that's that's my man of the match. So what I probably need to do is uh, put up now. Let's have a look. If I can do it now. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let me do it now. Uh, man of the match. Man of the match. Man of the match. Man of the match. Who of the match? Let's do it now. So who was your man of the match? Okay. So we're going. Your... Man of the match. I'm not, to, to be honest, I don't like to do it when when we draw or when we lose, but hey ho. Yeah. Let's have a look here. Versus PSV Eindhoven. You can only choose one. Right. <coughs> so let's say. Um can't be can't be Declan Rice. So I'll put um mm, Nketiah first, and I'll put uh, Nelson. I thought Kiovo had, had a good game. Have I spelled his name right? Let's have a look. Sorry, let's have a look. <coughs> like Kiwi or like Kiwi or Kiwi or Kiwi or. Right, so it's Kiwi, Kiwi, or, and who else? I'm not going to say, who else had a relatively, relatively good game? So it's Saliba. 
So I'm I'm gonna say um Cedric. I'm gonna say Cedric had a had a relatively good game. So get, there we go. So, <coughs> Cedric. And just for fun, El Nenny. There we go. So I'll put it out there. <coughs> you got a man, man of the match and Ketia, Nelson, Kivor, Cedric, or El Nenny. There we go. Go and vote until your heart's content. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, uh, let's have a look here. I think I can probably, can I go to the live chat yet? No, I can't. Not, not just yet. Not just yet. Beg me, begging my pardon. Begging my pardon. Okay. Right, I think now I can go into the live chat. So you're watching now, watching me over here. Come into the live chat. Let me you know your thoughts about the game. PSV 1, Arsenal 1. A really good goal by Eddie Ketia. Didn't have much time to think about it. Yeah, uh, there's a slight pause, and then he whacked it with his left foot off the post. Yeah, and it was 1-0. But unfortunately, three minutes after, we kind of gave up a goal. And actually, we, I think we're kind of lucky because there are quite a few um, chances, didn't they? All right. <coughs> uh, Eddie breaks uh, his away slump. Well, then. And of all places to break the slump, Champions League nights. Yeah. Uh, a draw. Uh, if you can't tell, I haven't watched this game yet. Yeah, it was it was a draw. Sorry, Colin. <laughs> it was a draw. All right. Uh, what else do we have to do here? So I will show you again, just for just for the sake of it. This is how um, everything um, ended. So P, I'm, I'm actually surprised that Sevilla finished bottom. <coughs> <coughs> Very, very surprised. I thought they would have come a little bit better than that. And of course, Arsenal top with one defeat. And PSV, uh, Lons, and then Sevilla. Sevilla. Okay. Now, let me have a quick look. Let's see if we had anyone, anybody voted yet. Has anybody voted yet? Let's have a look. Oh, we've had one vote. And you know what? I kid you not. Somebody has voted for let me put this, let me put this up. So your man of the match versus PSV, choose only one. Let me just kind of refresh the page very quickly. See if I've got this right. Let's have a look here. Someone's having a laugh. Oh it's just changed. So we have had two votes. It's like two minutes. So nobody voted for Eddie and Ketia so far. Nobody voted for Nelson. Nobody voted for Cedric Suarez. But someone did vote for Kivor. And somebody voted for Mohamed Elneny. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. <coughs> Let me give it one more refresh. Oh, somebody's in my throat. <laughs> oh, we had three votes now. Now somebody has voted for Cedric Suarez. I think, I think you lot are having a laugh now. You lot are having a laugh. Having a laugh. All right, okay, we'll take this off, take it off, we'll take this one off, and take this one off, so I'm going to just take this off, and I I think, he thinks that this has come to an end. <laughs> Cedric the Entertainer, this is crazy. Uh, I don't know what to say. What to say? Well, we didn't. We didn't. Apart from the Muhammad El Nenny, uh, I think uh, probably a, a calf strain. I think or hamstrings been pulled. <coughs> there were no other um, concerns about any players getting injured, and that's what we want because we're going to be going to play against. Oh, I forgot. I forget. Oh my goodness, we were playing against on Sunday. I forgot. Brighton. That's it. We're playing uh, at home to Brighton on Sunday and it's a 2 p.m. local time, GMT time uh, kickoff. So uh, it's good to see that we didn't we didn't sustain any major injuries apart from Mohamed El Nenny. And you know what? Uh, we have come to an end uh, on this sh rather short show, and that's okay because I do need to go and get my beauty sleep. Can't you tell? <laughs> so on the day that we find out that um, it was honours even, honours even, I say, yeah. Not 1-0 to the Arsenal, 
to PSV and one to Arsenal. Next time you see me or hear from me will be on Sunday for the Brighton and Hove Albion game, uh, roughly about 5 o'clock p.m. local time, UK time. I hope you enjoyed the show here. And um, until then, um, this has been Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. <laughs>